the likely candidates had been reluctant to declare while the outcome of the talks was in doubt. But those names will start to emerge in the days ahead, of course. In the meantime, Harriet Harman will take charge until the party elects a new leader. Our political correspondent, Gary O'Donoghue, considers what's ahead for Labour. Gordon Brown became leader without a serious contest, but his successor will have no such luck. During negotiations, the Lib Dems claimed Labour figures seemed more focused on Gordon Brown's replacement than doing a deal. So who's in the running? Well, tonight, the outgoing business secretary, Lord Mandelson, ruled himself out of the contest. No, I have no thoughts uh, about who the leader uh, should be, and I won't be playing any part in that uh, contest. But one man who wasn't so definite was the outgoing school secretary, Ed Balls. The reality is, it's not for today. We'll think about these things in the coming um, days. I don't think people would think it's seemly for us to get into that kind of discussion and conversation now. I'm going to think hard about it, but I've made no decisions, and I'm going to talk to people first. Others considering their options are the former Foreign Secretary David Miliband, the candidate who will be seen as a continuation of new Labour. But there's also his brother, Ed Miliband, seen as someone who managed to bridge the Brown-Blair camps over the years. Alan Johnson, the former Home Secretary, has come close to ruling himself out in the past, but will he stand? And will John Crudders become a new standard-bearer for the left? So how will it work? Labour leaders are chosen through an electoral college. MPs and MEPs account for a third of the vote. The Labour Party membership, another third of the vote. And affiliated organisations such as trade unions, a further third of the vote. Any MP who wants to run has to get 33 fellow MPs to nominate them in the first place. Labour's acting leader said she definitely wouldn't be standing, but paid this tribute to Gordon Brown's leadership. Tonight, Gordon has left with great dignity. He leaves a tremendous legacy and we are immensely proud of that. Labour's National Executive Committee will meet here at party headquarters next Tuesday to decide on the timetable. There's no particular rush as there won't be a snap general election. So the new leader could be crowned at the party conference in the autumn. Whatever happens, the successor to new Labour is about to be born. Gary O'Donoghue, BBC News, Westminster. Well, let's take a quick look at uh, some of the morning papers, of course, all of them covering this story. Let's start off uh, with the time.